A kind of enemy traveling through the air all around us. Every sneeze that can give you cold or flu. So is using your hand with a sneeze or an arm the best way to stop it? ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, shows us something else that really works. On the flu season battlefield, everyone around you is a potential enemy, firing their germs like ballistic missiles. We set out to answer once and for all, how can you best stop your sneezes and not get everyone around you sick? Is it with your hands or into your elbow? We put together a demonstration, laid down a long paper ruler, set up high-speed cameras, and rinsed our mouths with food coloring so we could see where the sneezes landed. We put on protective suits to keep the dye off our clothes and did everything we could to incite a sneeze. I even sniffed cat hair off my producer's scarf. Very cat allergic. I couldn't sneeze, but two of my producers, Ilara and Marcus, found a way, tickling their noses with these leaves, and we're off. <laughs> Round one, Marcus plays the rude guy, <laughs> sneezing without blocking at all. Look at that die. We found a small part of it landing almost 11 feet away. Round two, Ilara covers her mouth with her hands. <laughs> Just like mom always said, she can't block it all, and some of it landed three and a half feet away. And look at all of that on Ilara's hands. Disgusting. Round three. What about that newer move we've been advised to use? The Dracula sneeze into your elbow. Better, but look how much is still getting through. Parts of that sneeze landed eight and a half feet away. So if you're spreading germ sneezing, even when covering your mouth and sneezing into your elbow, is there anything you can do? <laughs> Grab a tissue. Believe it or not, with Marcus sneezing right into the tissue, we found nothing getting through. Nothing. There you have it. Gesundheit. <laughs>